Hello, it's Wednesday, July the 20th, 2011, and I'm Martin Smith with a daily outlook from UFX Markets. The dollar fell against most of the major currencies as President Obama endorsed a 3.7 trillion debt cutting plan that would combine tax increases and spending cuts, saying it could end a congressional deadlock over raising the US borrowing limit. Stock markets closed positive as the Dow rose by 1.63% and the Nasdaq gained 2.22%. Crude rose for the second day in a row by 2.08% to close at $98.10 a barrel. Gold declined from an all-time high to close at $1,590 an ounce. Today, existing home sales is expected to rise by 4.92 million versus 4.81 million previously. The euro strengthened against the US dollar as European Union leaders are preparing for a summit on July the 21st to hammer out a solution to the Greek debt crisis. Trading below resistance of 142.20 will keep the momentum negative for the pair. Overall, the euro dollar traded with a low of 138.36 and a high of 142.81. Today, German PPI is expected to grow by 0.10% versus 0% previously. The pound strengthened against the greenback after the pair failed to break 160.60. The trend for the pair remains bearish. Overall, the pound dollar traded with a low of 159.01 and a high of 161.91. Today, MPC meeting minutes is expected to be released. The dollar strengthened against the yen as President Obama endorsed deficit-cutting measures, easing concern the U.S. is moving closer to default. If the pair succeeds in breaking resistance of 79.60, it may bring it to 80 once again. The Canadian dollar now, this gained the most in 11 weeks against its US counterpart after the Bank of Canada kept its main interest rate unchanged and said borrowing costs will increase as the economy recovers. The trend for the pair is still bearish. Today, BOSC monetary policy report is expected to be released and the Bank of Canada is expected to hold a press conference. Well, that's it from me. Be sure to visit us at UFX Markets for all your online trading needs.